Hi, this is Jacob L. Thank you for watching this episode of the Sci-Fi Discussion Series, a video series meant to share some of my ideas and provoke discussion in the comments where you can share your opinions about them and share your own ideas. This episode, I'm going to talk about my design for an open-ended vacuum chamber, which is inspired by Nikola Tesla's work with his open-ended vacuum chamber design and particle beam weapon design. This design that I'm going to share with you is designed to be a modernized and improved version that would use a lot less energy, be much more compact and practical. The main physical structure of it is a larger bulb at the rear, which stores the main volume of low pressure, as low pressure gas as possible, maybe near vacuum. And coming out of the front is a very narrow tube. The next part of the physical construction of it is a layer of wire wrapped back and forth lengthwise along the shell. Not around and around it, but back and forth lengthwise. And it's insulated wire. And this layer of wire is going to be energized with high frequency AC at a high voltage. This forms a thin layer of cold plasma, which is just ionized conductive gas along the surface of the coil. The next layer of coil wound over that is a series of short concentric wound coils forming a linear induction motor. The linear induction motor is also driven with high frequency polyphase AC and this drives the conductive gas formed by the first set of coils forward and down the tube out of the device. By ionizing the air and driving it out of the tube we can achieve a at least I think we can achieve a high vacuum in this chamber using no moving parts and using relatively low energy. By having the barrel be very narrow, this will prevent a column of gas from flowing in reverse back into the chamber. Thank you for watching and I'd love to hear your comments on this design or any related topics.